Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at what's in store today. Today we're going to be attempting Challenge Rift 292. So just quickly showing you my stats here, my secondaries, I've been working on quite a lot recently. And we're going to attempt this one. So you can see I'm actually below the recommended combat rating for this as well. Let's see if we can do it. And this rift is a nope from me. Let's try again and see if we can get a better one. Okay, so this is definitely a better map. Let's get started. And I don't know why that happens. I think you've seen it in one of my other videos recently where I enter a rift and there's nothing and then suddenly the mobs are literally on top of me. Um, I don't know if it's because my loading time is faster on this uh, new phone or what, but yeah, I literally was on top of the mobs there. Um, so instantly we've got some blue elites, which is going to make this a lot easier. My clan also has the tower that gives you the extra orbs when you defeat monsters or when you defeat elites in challenge rifts as well. So this should make the time a little bit easier to do. Now, ideally I want to be back in the top 10. My top 10 spot didn't last very long last time um, as quite a few people seem to swap to wizard to set a score and then swap back. Not entirely sure why, maybe it's the easier leaderboard to make a score on as there's not that many people playing Wizard now. Um, it's not the strongest class currently, um, but I still love Wizard and I will never swap from it. So we've got some more elites here as well. The worst thing in this rift is that we have the um, mages that obviously are more ranged and that makes it a little bit more difficult as well. Uh, but so far we're making good progress and yeah, let's see if that continues. Just to touch on a couple of build information bits here. So the build that I'm using is actually the raid build that I normally use. And this probably wasn't the best to go in with because as you can see, I'm having to stay quite close to the mobs. And of course that does give you the risk of dying like this. Um, but this is one of the higher damage builds that I use. And what I've done is I've swapped out the ice armor essence from um, the heart of the storm to hailstone so that i have that six hit immunity as well from ice armor um obviously i died instantly there i forgot to activate my ice armor or it just well i didn't forget i did click it but it obviously didn't register or i didn't click the right part of my phone screen whatever um so normally i wouldn't bother with these yellow elites but this one is kind of in the way and i feel like it's just going to follow me anyway because obviously that's what the mobs generally tend to do in these rifts as well um another thing to mention is that i did swap out my mother's lament for gloom cask simply because this build uses my primary attack a lot and i wanted the increased resonance so that i'd have that little bit of an increase in my combat rating as well as i thought this would make the rift a little bit easier so I had attempted this rift already, um, but last week I found a couple of decent gear pieces and I also updated my citrine gem to have higher potency, which has given me just over 5k potency in this build as well. So that's why I thought I would give it a go and see if we can actually complete 292 this time. And I'm making better progress than I did previously. When I tried this before, I literally was just dying straight away and I couldn't even get anywhere with it. So having that increase in combat rating, resonance and my potency has obviously made a little bit of a difference here. Ideally, I want to get to the blue mob that just popped up on the minimap there, but I definitely need to pull these normal monsters away first and I'm taking a lot of damage as well. And um, so I'm just retreating a little bit so that I can pull this, um, these normal monsters away. Um, I'm also really low on ice armor and taking heavy hits. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of those mages and their hits are really hard. They generally cause more damage to me than any of the melee um, monsters. So I'm trying my best to not die again because I don't really want to add time onto um, my overall time for this. Um, so yeah, just retreating as much as I can so that I can use my um, ice armor and also my potions there. Nice, so it looks like we've actually got a couple of blue mobs here. So this might be enough for us to actually 
um, get the boss to spawn and we've also got the protection shrine which I've just grabbed straight away. I know I will probably run out of this and need it for um, the boss but this will make it a little bit easier for me to take these guys down now um, and yeah I'm hoping that once we take down both of these mobs we'll have enough to get that boss to spawn. I'm so close to dying. Please don't let me die. Um, I'm just waiting for my ice armor again. I could have used a essence to make that a little bit quicker but then it would mean that I don't have the damage coming from lightning nova so that's why I haven't got that um, reduced cooldown on ice armor unfortunately. And actually that was enough, just that one mob was enough to get the boss to spawn. So we have a uh, virus, virus, I'm not really sure how you say this character's name, but um, yeah, this one is not the worst, but it's not the best. Uh, these skulls are always a nightmare to dodge because they just track you. Um, <laughs> and then this attack as well is also a nightmare. So I'm hoping that I will be able to stay safe and not die. Um, we're doing an okay amount of damage, that's the thing. It's not like I'm super slow at causing damage with this, it's just that I died way too quickly. So my next gem that I think I'm gonna work on is my Aquamarine for armor um, and probably my resilience as well um, because some of the attacks obviously are more, um, you need resilience rather than just armor against. Um, but yeah, trying to dodge too many things here because she's got that um, golem as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I was stunned for a second there, but thankfully my ice armor is keeping me safe at the moment. Let's see if we can take this boss down and actually make the leaderboard. That was super close. I was just in slightly the wrong position there and took quite a lot of damage from that attack. Um, and then managed to use my... Um, potions as well as getting my ice armor again um so just again trying to avoid all of these attacks and unfortunately the skulls got me i'm pretty sure that took down my ice armor straight away um so i was just waiting for the golem to disappear before i um used my revive there generally i do that with the bosses so if you wait a couple of seconds sometimes even just one second extra um you'll find that uh their mobs summons anything like that will just disappear um so that you have a better chance of obviously actually causing damage but unfortunately there i got I was got by the red skulls and the tracking skulls as well. So unfortunately this is adding time on now. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna actually manage to do it within time for the rift, because you can see I'm getting quite close now to running out of enough um, time. Again, that same word. Um, <laughs> running out and I'm just adding stuff onto the clock now. This is super annoying. Um, let's just wait for this attack to finish before we respawn again and wait for that golem to disappear as well. So you can see we've got the boss down to about 22 million or just over 22 million health and the skills are actually working really nicely to uh, decrease this at a pretty rapid rate. So hopefully we will actually manage to do it in time. Um, we're so close now. It's going to be really annoying if I die again, these stupid skulls, trying to avoid all of them. Um, that is so annoying. Um, and we are now around 10 million, just under 10 million. So yeah, life is decreasing really quickly, but now I've got this stupid golem to avoid as well and more skulls oh my god i hate them so much um this is probably one of the worst bosses i could have actually got um but we're gonna yes we've managed to complete it so eight minutes and seven just well eight minutes and eight seconds pretty much um we've actually managed to complete it so let's take a look now and see if i managed to make it on the leaderboard so I did manage to scrape in at 10th place on the leaderboard. So I'm super happy with that. And I didn't think I was actually going to do it. Um, so yeah, really happy with that result. Hopefully I can find some higher combat rating gear. So this was my um, monster difficulty. So I was taking 158% more damage and dealing 61% less damage as well. So I forgot to share that earlier in the video, um, but I grabbed a screenshot just now to share with you. So that is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. As I said, build information is in my raid build video. I'll link it in the comments below. And as always, have a great day and thanks for watching.